Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan following the demise of the father of Her Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah Faisal Al Sidqi Al Yasin, who passed away today. His Majesty the King expressed his deepest condolences to His Majesty King Abdullah II, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan following the passing of Faisal Sidqi Al Yasin, the father of Her Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II. National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom, where His Highness met Prince Edward Earl of Wessex, son of Queen Elizabeth, and Major General Duncan Capps, Commander of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst today. The National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard attended the unveiling ceremony of the memor memorial to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland on the occasion of the 70th anniversary of her accession to the throne in the United Kingdom. His Highness stressed the depth of the distinguished and historical friendship relations that bind the Kingdom of Bahrain with the United Kingdom and the development that this relationship is witnessing at various levels and in all fields, especially with regard to the exchange of experiences and cooperation in the military field. His Highness, the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, met with a number of officer candidates from the Kingdom of Bahrain, studying at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, wishing them continued success. His Highness also urged them to benefit from all the military programs and curricula and military exercises offered by the Academy. His Highness, the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, also praised the development process and the prominent role played by the Royal Military Academy in the field of preparing officers and uh, refining them with science and knowledge to keep pace with scientific and technological developments and progress in various military sciences. Present was Bahrain's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Bahrain's National Committee to Control Smoking in All Types and Products of Tobacco has been granted the World uh, Tobacco Day 2022 award by the World Health Organization, the WHO, during the 75th General Assembly held in Geneva on May 22nd till 28th in recognition of its accomplishments in the area of tobacco control. On the occasion, Health Minister Faiqa bint Zaid al Saleh extended her sincere thanks and appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and His Royal Highness. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their unlimited support for the health sector contributing to the Kingdom's success in attaining innumerable achievements and earning its global acclaim. The award is granted marking the World No Tobacco Day 2022, which is celebrated on May 31st under the theme Tobacco's Threat to Our Environment. In this regard, the Minister asserted that Bahrain will continue its efforts to combat smoking and reduce its risks as reflected in the establishment of the National Committee to Control smoking and all types and products of tobacco comprising members from various public and private institutions. Bahrain and Morocco have signed a memorandum of cooperation in the field of renewable energy. It was signed during a virtual event by Bahrain's Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Wa Al Nasser Al Mubarak and Morocco's Minister of Energy, Transition and Sustainable Development, Dr. Leila Ben Ali. In the presence of the Chief Executive Officer of the Electricity and Water Authority EWA, Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Moroccan Ambassador to Bahrain and a number of Bahrain and Moroccan officials. The agreement aims to enhance cooperation between the two 
brotherly countries in the field of renewable energy based on the comprehensive development visions of their leaderships. Under the memorandum, the two countries will cooperate in implementing a number of renewable energy initiatives and carrying out studies related to ways to boost sectors related to renewable energy and its uses. They will also encourage joint investments in renewable energy, exchange expertise in solar and other renewable energy projects, and develop energy storage and smart automation technologies in addition to cooperation in capacity building programs and training courses. On the occasion, Minister al Mbarak asserted that, that uh, the memorandum is in line with the directives of the Kingdom's leadership, noting that it provides a platform for the two brotherly countries to benefit from their experiences in the fields of energy sustainability. The Moroccan minister praised the signing of the memorandum, adding that it will allow them to take advantage of their expertise and knowledge capacity building in the fields of renewable energy so as to achieve the forecast goals. The Bahrain Electronic Network for Financial uh, Transactions Benefit and the Saudi Credit Bureau, SIMA, have announced that the start of the technical link of the credit information exchange project between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This link comes in activation of the decision of the Supreme Council of the GCC with the aim of providing financial tools that contribute to reducing uh, the credit risks associated with any financial transactions of any economic activity in a way that promotes the growth of those activities and raises the level of economic growth in general. Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Al Maraj, expressed his happiness at launching this initiative, which comes in implementation of the visions and directives of the leadership of the two brotherly countries and the aspired future role in developing and enhancing commercial transactions and economic performance, especially since the initiative provides decision support operations for business relations and partnerships according to an advanced system of information and audited data, which are provided by the authorities concerned with credit information reports. This enhances trust and transparency and allows for wider areas of mutual business. For his part, the governor of the Central Bank of Saudi Arabia, Dr. Fahad bin Abdullah Limbarak, noted that this step comes as an activation to the objectives of the financial sector program within the vision of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia 2030 by launching strategic projects that promote framework of cooperation between the GCC countries, which opens up greater investment opportunities and ensures the stability and economic growth of those countries. He also indicated that the financial sector relies on such strategic projects, which would enhance the level of transparency in financial transactions and improve the performance of the business sector in order to achieve the common goals of the GCC countries. Bahrain Airport uh, Services, uh, BAS, announced passing the periodic audit criteria to renew obtaining the ISO, ISO Certificate for Information Security Management Systems, which was approved by TUV, uh, Pro Fixer TUV, Hassan, with the support of the UAE Global Business Bureau. The achievement was reflected in the success of BAS's ICT team in protecting uh, the company's information as well as attesting to the accuracy and reliability of the information and ensuring it is free from risk by reducing the impact of potential violations. This certificate also confirms that the assessment of BAS independently complies with the international standard which is based on international best practices. The ISO certification is the international standard adopted to identify best practices for managing risks that threaten information security systems in each of the organizations concerned individuals, processes and technologies. In international news, the Emirati capital Abu Dhabi has been ranked as the world's least congested capital according to the uh, Tom Tom Traffic Index for 2021. The ranking is based on the annual survey of 416 cities in 57 countries by the Global Navigation Services Company and is based on a combination of criteria including the rate of traffic congestion at intersections and streets at various times during the day, including peak hours. The study also analyzed the number of traffic lights and their programming and contribution to the development of traffic flow in cities. Abu Dhabi recorded 11% congestion level reflecting the impact of the integrated traffic management plan implemented by the Department of Municipalities and Transport. 
Saudi Arabia has ranked first globally in terms of the value of data exports in 2021. According to the trade map of the International Trade Center, the value of Saudi exports of dates in 2021 reached 1.2 billion Saudi rials or 320 million US dollars. The kingdom also realized the highest annual growth rate of exports over the past five years of 12.5%, with exports entering 113 countries. The National Center for Palms and Dates said that the achievement reflects the interests of the Saudi leadership in enhancing non-oil exports, developing the work system and planting and improving the production of palm and the leading role of uh, partners, mainly the producers and exporters of dates. Iranian forces seized two Greek tankers in the Gulf shortly after Tehran warned it would take punitive action against Athens over the confiscation of Iran oil by the U.S. from a tanker held off the Greek coast. The Revolutionary Guard Navy gave no further details or say what the alleged violations were. Greece's foreign ministry said it made a strong uh, demarch to the Iranian ambassador in Athens over the violent taking over of two Greek flagships in the Arabian Gulf. The foreign ministry said these actions are tantamount uh, to act of piracy and warned Greek citizens to avoid traveling to Iran. The Greek ministry called for the immediate release of the vessels and their crews.